Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at two of the new move updates in one video, which is going to have, you know, Leafage variant of the Laurentis, as well as variant on Togetic. Both of those Pokemon are something that I really want to take a look at anyway, so very cool to see it here right now. If you want to be as cool as Jake's Emerald here, you can also send in your battles with a link in the description. As you're going to encounter here Dugong, there's going to be most likely a video for Dugong tomorrow on my channel. I already have everything for that in terms of gameplay. But I'm mostly gonna upload it tomorrow. We see liquidation on this Pokemon here, which is going to do a ton of damage and gonna get the debuff there as well, which is kind of wild. Thought they would rather run drill run, but here now we're going to see a leafage for the first time. The animation looks cool. Like honestly, it looks like it looks really, really cool. I don't know really what it's supposed to be like, but honestly, that is interesting. Cool animation for sure. We're going to see now the Fa Fable against us as well, which now has access to the move Fairy Wind as well. But in comes, for whatever reason, these hand slash, which are going to take one superpower here. They're going to shield up the first one, but they will not be able to shield up the second one as they are shieldless right now. And we're going to see now that they're going to not knock them out, but you can let this move go through. A very good play here. Farm them down with your own Togetic, and now Togetic is going to town. Togetic is one of the bulkiest Pokemon here in like terms of Fairy Wind users. I think it's the bulkiest Fairy Wind user right now. Which is going to be a very good asset for the Open Great League. We're going to see hopefully some more gameplay with this Pokemon here and some more good games with this Pokemon here. We're going to encounter a Venusaur. This is a rare Pokemon to be seen, but also it's a Pokemon that's completely going to wall you here as it's going to be able to beat your lead as well as your Pokemon in the back. But they're going to swap into a Stunfist. I think they expected to catch a Rock Slide and yep, they tried to catch a Rock Slide which definitely did not work out that well for them. You are straight for the rock side here, which might be a little bit of a mistake because they know about this and you are now forced to shield up the charge from the opponent here, at least that's what I would do. So, like if you went for the earthquake, at least you would have been able to at least get the shield, I guess, but like this, you have at least two shields down, you have some energy here and you can realign, but I feel like that's going to be not the best matchup for you anymore. As there's nothing really that you can do against this Venusaur, like you have no, no coverage really. They still get to move here, I think a Frenzy Plant is just barely going to knock you out here as well. Oh no, you still wipe with exactly one HP, that's a wild. So okay, it doesn't knock you out, you can still go for the Rock side. And now you're forced to go, yeah, forced to go into your, okay, you go into your Laurentis. I guess it's fine now because the opponent went into that Yugong. But this is really not looking good, I thought you would have went into the Togetic instead. But Laurentis also doesn't really have the best play here either. As we're going to see the Icy Wind coming through, going to not knock you out, but like the Ancient Power is not going to do it here. The Ancient Power definitely not going to knock out the opponent. If we get a boost here, maybe you still have a chance, but I don't really think that's going to happen here. No, it does not happen, and there is nothing that you can really do here anymore. Ice Wind coming through, you can still take it. It's super effective, but as said before, the um, Togetic is a very, very bulky Pokemon here right now. And we will see now the Ice Wind coming through, and it's going to be a good game. Togetic, I think, has around the same bulk as a Lantern, which is really, really decent. But here we're going to see now a uh, Warren against you in camps, the Medi Charm. Going to be okay for you as you can still go for two Earthquakes here, usually, which should force the shield from the opponent, which is also very nice for you, as you can go ahead and let this move go through. Should not knock you out here unless it's a dynamic punch. It is not a dynamic punch. You can still go for an earthquake. Force the shield from the opponent. If you can farm them down maybe with a Togetic here as well. You're going to have Ancient Power, which is going to be super effective against the opponent's War Rain. So this is going to be pretty decent for you here right now. Ice Punch, you see, does not do that much damage. Like, even though it's super effective, it does not do that much damage. It doesn't two-shot you. So this is going to be pretty fine for you. Try to get some extra farm here, but the Ancient Power is coming through right now. Does actually knock them, no, that doesn't knock them out. And you're going to get the defense and attack drop, which is going to allow you to go for another Ancient Power here. Boost it as well against the War Rain, going to get some damage onto them. Now you can farm them down with the Laurentis as the fast move is now going to do more damage. But now you're going to see a hard wall here with the Altaria coming in. This is not really ideal for you and there's not a lot that you can do here really, I feel like. You have to try to maybe, like you have to hope that the opponent going to throw, which they're not going to do here anyway. And then you would need to try to farm them down or something with your Togetic because you have to try to get... Two, um, two Ancient Powers basically in order to knock out the opponent, but yeah, at this point of time, there's nothing that you can really do. This is, well, not knock you out yet, I think, but you can still, yeah, you're gonna get farmed down by Dragon Breath. You can try to go for a charge move, but of course, it doesn't really help you out too much here. Let's take a look at the next game. We're going to see the Seal. That is definitely not going to be the longest game here. Someone went in with a Little Cup team. That's kind of funny. 
Um, you could have most likely just went into your leafage chooser, which is going to be able to complete these. Yeah, okay, yeah, just destroy them here, please. That's more like, why do you go into, yeah, okay, the opponent just forfeits there as well. I think they just went into the wrong team because, like, going in with a little cap team doesn't really make too much sense here. Next opponent, we're going to see a pretty bad lead for you with the Reggie Steel. This is the problem with Togetic, as Togetic is going to get basically walled by any Steel type Pokemon. It's going to be a little bit difficult there, but um, here you're going to have now the matchup for the Galarian Stunfist, which can outspeed them for the second one at least, which would not knock them out, but do a lot. Oh, actually, it does knock them out. I think that was a pretty bad IV from the opponent. We're going to see a really weird play by the opponent here. Like, why would they do that? Why do they go first into the. Medicham to just catch an Earthquake with the Galarian Sunfist, which also has very bad IVs, as you can see here by the damage output that you did there. Um, like, did way more damage than it's supposed to do. Like, it should do way less damage than the, like, the Earthquake in general should have done way less damage than you did there. But it's going to be fine. Is he now going to be able to go up here, try to go for the Dazzling Gleam with your... Togetic as the opponent going to go for one Psychic, some lag is coming through, the opponent forfeited at this point of time already. Just go for the Dazzling Gleam, finish up the opponent, and they can lose this game here with the Togetic going for the Dazzling Gleam. Should one-shot the opponent here for sure. Super effective move, super strong move, step, it just, yeah, does a lot of damage. Horrible lead for you again, but you kind of forced to stay in here because you're... Yeah, I mean, you can still go for Ancient Power, I guess, but you cannot have your own Lorantis against this Pokemon. Lorantis would completely get destroyed by any kind of Marowak here because it's just all going to be resisted. You're going to shield the move up. It's going to be a Bone Club bait. This is kind of wild by the opponent. Like, if this didn't get shielded, it did, like, literally zero damage. And you get the, the attack and the defense boost here, which is going to be nice. In comes now a Shadow Ball, which is also pretty okay for you. You can still go ahead and go for another chart move now. Try to get the shield from the opponent or the knockout. You're gonna get the knockout against the opponent. Get another boost. Like, honestly, the amount of boost you already got for this Pokemon is insane. Now we're going to be able to get to those ancient powers so fast. It's really, really a game changer, to be fair. Like, having a Pokemon that has ancient power and a fast move that generates energy as fast as Fairy Wind is a really a game changer here. As you're going to see now, the Laurentis against the Scrafty is going to be a very good matchup for you. Honestly, I really like the animation of Leafage though. Like, it looks like a fun move to use. Also, does uh, around like it. It's basically a clone for Bullet Punch, which is really decent for you as well. Like, if you know from like Metagross, very good fast move in general. Not really that commonly seen, I think, Bullet Punch, but still very decent fast move there. We're going to see now the Scrafty against you in the lead, which is amazing for you as you complete the art for them. In comes the Talonflame. Do they know about your moveset though? Let's take a look at this one. They get... Sh okay, they shield up the first one. We can go for another Ancient Power here. Going to do some pretty decent damage against them, most likely, and they're going to let this move go through, which is amazing for you as they can now go ahead, shield up the move. Going to be a Brave Bit as well. Can you farm them down here maybe even? I don't think... Oh, you actually can still farm them down. This is amazing. Dazzling Gleam coming through against the Swampert. This is looking so, so well for you right now. They're going to let this move go through. It doesn't one-shot them, but does a lot of damage. You can go ahead, and now it's Leafage time. Going to be able to knock... Out Wait, never mind. They have Surf instead of Hydro Cannon. You will be able to go for one Ancient Power here and knock them out again. And now it's just Scrafty against the rest of your team. You can go ahead, go into your Galarian Stunfisk, I guess. I would have not really done that, but like it doesn't really matter. I guess you just waste the energy here right, real quick and then swap out. Yeah, you're going to swap out here right now. Going to, you can just go straight for the Leaf Blade. Exactly, Leaf Blade going to be the best one to go for. You have a two-turn move against the two-turn move, so you can just throw immediately when you get there. You can let this move go through, but you're going to shield this move up here. Power Punch coming through, and you can still go for another Leaf Blade here, knocking out the opponent, winning you the game here. And Leafage is coming in clutch here. Let's take a look at the next game. We're going to see Glissapod here. Which is going to be featured tomorrow on my channel as well. Have a team for this Pokemon as well. Only played three games so far with it, but I have to do some more games with it then as well. But very cool Pokemon. I really enjoyed this one in the three games that I played with it. So very cool Pokemon. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video for this one. Also, if you enjoyed this video here right now, please leave a like and uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, of course. And I would appreciate it. Helps out the channel a lot. We're going to see the Earthquake coming through against the Nidoqueen. And the Galissapod is coming through here again. Having to go for an Exeter. Most likely Aerial Ace. You don't run Aerial Ace on this Pokemon anymore. Please don't do that. Exeter is most likely the best move to go for. Plus, of course, the new move Liquidation. Which you're going to see here as well. 
But um, yeah, you're going to be able to stay in here, which is going to be nice for you because you don't really want to have the Laurentis against this Noctowl. You're going to be able to spam those ancient powers here right now. Can you get a boost? You can get another boost. Honestly, this is insane. The, the amount of boosts are just super wild, as you're going to see now that you're going to be able to let this move go through, farm down the opponent, get a ton of energy, and you should be fine here. Don't know why they went for the Shadow Ball. That was so totally un, like, unnecessary. You can just go ahead and go for the Sky Attack. But yeah, the opponent goes for the Sky Attack right now. You're going to see the Galist Pot coming through, and you just go for the Leaf Blades at this point of time. There is no timing for your farm or charge moves, you're just gonna go straight when you get there. And the Laurentis is going to be able to knock out the opponent here, knocking out the Galissapod and winning the game. Well, let's take a look at the next game. We're going to see the uh, Incensor here against you, which is not really ideal for you, especially not in the lead here. But we're going to now get out the Galarian Stunfisk against it, we're going to shield up the Drill Run. And the opponent is not swapping out here, which is an interesting play. As we see the Earthquake coming through, we're going to one shot them. They didn't want to shield this one up for whatever reason. We can see now the Earthquake coming through it should do around like 60% off the health of the opponent, a little bit more even, like 70, maybe even not the perfect IV variant there, but um, you're going to be able to take this foul play coming through. You can still go for the rock side here, but it's going to be a CMP tie that you're going to lose here. But you can now farm them down with your Togetic for sure. In comes now the Noctowl, and you should have stayed in there for sure as well. Because Togetic is going to be the best answer for this Pokemon. Can you still survive a Sky Attack? You can. You can still go for the superpower. So it actually kind of works out pretty okay-ish for you. You're going to be able to get the shield here. But now I will just shield up the first move that comes against you. Because you will be able to now go ahead and hopefully boost again. Let's see. We're going to see the first move coming through. No boost so far. How could they? Honestly, the boost is kind of mandatory here. Let's take a look. You can go for another one here. Do you get another boost with this Pokemon? That would be amazing to see and we see no boost coming through. You're still bulky enough to at least take one charge move here, but the opponent might want to swap onto your charge move. Let's see. They're going to try to do it and it didn't work out. You can farm them all the way down, but you're not going to go for it. You're going to go for the charge move first and this is going to knock them out now. You can still reach the ancient power and Togetic is coming to town here right now. Going to completely destroy the opponent opponent here. What a game. What a game there. Honestly, the best so far. As you see now, a very decent lead for you and a very decent chase up for you as well. The Noctowl is going to not have the greatest time here. But again, basically like the Amolga earlier today, the Togetic can actually function as a counter for both fighting type Pokemon as well as flying type Pokemon because of ancient power. So it's actually a very cool Pokemon to see. Honestly, I wonder if we're going to see more of that in also like regionals or something because it looks like a fun Pokemon to use. Also against like all the cherry arts or whatever, you have ancient power and just one shot them most likely. It's going to be a very fun Pokemon to take a look at in like actual play there of course, getting a ward by steel types kind of annoying but otherwise might be a fun Pokemon to use. We're going to see the Mary Chim coming back in here right now. You can go into your Togetic again. And of course, the Dazzling Beam might do the job here already, but they're most likely going to shield. Like, there's no real reason for them not to shield. And we have the perfect matchup for you, Laurentis here. What's up, Lantern? You're not going to do too much damage here with a Thunderbolt here. You can overfarm, go for, like, okay, you go for three. You would have at least been able to go for four if you don't know. But um, this time around, you, yeah, the opponent going to now get to another charge move. You're going to be a Surf. You will be able to go for your own charge move though, which is going to be very nice for you as well. Most likely going to be able to get a shield from the opponent or not. That's also okay for you because now you can just spam those ancient powers. Like you don't really care too much about what else the opponent wants to do here. We're just going to try to fish for the boost. Let's see if we're going to be able to get the boost here. Just go straight for it because it can of course get the boost the entire time, but nope. You don't get the boost, but now hopefully you're going to go up to the Dazzling Beam or the opponent. Maybe even forfeits here. We're going to see. You're going to go for just for the Ancient Power. Try to farm down afterwards. And this should be a good game here as you can just farm them all the way down. So yeah, thanks for sending in those battles. If you want to send in some battles, a link in the description. Otherwise, you're going to see now on the screen the two videos that I already uploaded today. There's one for Quagsire and there's one for Morga. Check those out and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.